Hey everyone, this is J Dog, and I'm here with another video. This individual is Nate Woods or Nathaniel Woods, an innocent man who was killed, murdered by the Alabama Department of Educate uh, of uh, of Correctionals. That's right. This was an in this is an innocent man that was murdered by his death row sentence and by the police to have them executed. Nate Woods was falsely accused of the murder of several cops after a raiding. He still surrendered to the police because he happened to be there and didn't know what was really going on. But they decided to charge him instead of the actual shooter that they discovered. So, all of a sudden they decided to kill this man. The state of Alabama decided to kill this man, this innocent man, who wanted his freedom. Now he'll never get it because he's died. And you can blame this woman I'm about to show you. Alright, this woman right here, Governor of Alabama, Kay Ivey. Now, this is the same Governor of Alabama who was accused of wearing blackface. And you can see this photo right here, this minstrelstro like photos that you see before you. And this is the coward herself. K. Ivy for not intervening in the execution. But I mean, I wouldn't be surprised because I'm not surprised. I mean, this is the same woman who wore um, blackface. So you think he she was going to show any sympathy for Nate Woods and to keep him alive? Don't think so. She's always had a racist bone in her body. And he, she decided that because the individual was black, they were just going to just let him die. So, yeah. State of Alabama, you could thank this coward, this racist coward, K. Ivy, for why Nate, Nate Woods is dead. This was an innocent person. Yeah, um... Yeah, this is the this is very but I'm not surprised. We knew that stuff like this would go on. We know that this is how our justice system works. It works against the black community. But I want to know what y'all think in the comment section. <sighs> I, I want to pay my condolences to the family of Nathaniel Woods and F you. Yes, yeah, screw you to hell, Kate Ivy. But like I said, screw you, Kate Ivy, and then I want to give my condolences to the family of Nathaniel Woods. May he rest in power. It's a shame that he will not be around. He should have been freed months ago. Years ago. Remember, he didn't do the crime. He didn't kill the police officers that they said he killed. It was another individual. But that's all I have to say about this. I want to know what y'all think in the comment section. That's all I have to say for now. Thank you. Um, thank you for watching. And I hope to catch y'all in another video. Peace, everyone.